Well, we're underway in the final of the men's K1 500 metres. Already it's the Hungarian Ben Stomfari out in lane five, who's got away quickly. Russia's Spesipsev is out really, really well as well. And Span Spain's Palayo Rotha is in lane four already with a boat length lead after just the first 100 metres. Rotha going really, really strongly out there already. Still plenty of the race to go, but this man means business. Can he hold on? That is the question. Lani, in over 500 metres, just, just how much does it hurt and, and which parts hurt the most? <laughs> it all hurts. Um, yeah, especially that last 200 metres. And then, yeah, going to that last 100, you're just trying to em like, leave it all out there. But yeah, you can see different race tactics that are going on. And the Spaniard obviously went out really fast and the other guys are now catching them. Well, they're into the last 200 metres now. Belarus in lane two now, pushing up into the lead with a big, big finish. That's Borikow of Belarus. What a finish he's got oh. here. They're just coming into the last 100 metres. Uh, Tom Liebscher of Germany now is starting to put the burners on. Rotha of Spain, who led so early on, is slipping back. Spitivsev of Russia Thomas is Green's still there through. in third place at the moment. Thomas Green of Australia, the under-23 world champion in K1000, has got a chance for a medal as well. This is going to go down to the wire. It looks like Tom Liebscher of Germany, who took the world championship gold medal in the men's K1 500 metres. He always seems to have a really strong, strong finish. That Belarusian.